Right. Okay. Down a bit. Warming up a bit. I just get get loosened up and then a lot of polishy stuff today. We gotta come up with ideas. For that we need to loosen up, so that's what this warm up is for. How's it going, Dan Mac? Seen again, Mr. Dan McDonald. Hope things are well for you. Hopefully the music's still alright. So somebody give me a shout if the music is too loud. I think we finally got a handle on it though. Great, great, good to hear, good to hear. You still full timing on no Nova Blitz? That's still what you're doing. Great, good to hear, good to hear. Is your team uh, all satellite? Like you have a bunch of different areas? Julius CS, how's it going? I think you're a streamer, aren't you? Or an artist that draws for streamers? I think I recognize your little, little, little face there. If that's your art, not, sorry. Yeah, today we're doing storyboard stuff, so be on composition, it's gonna be on some uh, fast ideas, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. But for now, I should warm up first. We're on this little this little grave dude bursting out of the ground. A little bit hard to see, but we'll uh it'll all come together. Trust me. You evil bunny. Really? Good. I don't ever seen him on Twitter, yes. Good. Julia, I have seen your stuff. I have seen your stuff on Twitter. Very, very cool. Ron for streamers is really awesome, isn't it? Really cool. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy a little bit further and then we're gonna get to onto some stuff. Oh, thanks! Also, I draw really fast. Yes, I, I have to draw fast or else you guys won't watch, right? That's another story? I think so. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you appreciate my style of art. It's cool. William Malone, again! I seem to remember you from last week. But welcome. Welcome to the squad. Thanks for uh, joining us. Teams all over Virtual Studio. Virtual Studio, that's right. Cool that we can do that now. There we go. Knock that back a bit. Oh, got some friendly uh, traffic people outside. Clear for the horn. You guys are all pals. That's so cool. Welcome to the stream. This week we're going to be doing some fun storyboard stuff. Layouts and stuff like that. My skeleton eyes are always like the the spookiest I found anyway. All right. Hey there, William Malone. How's it going? Welcome back. I think you are, you you fielded a bunch of art questions last week. Correct me if I'm wrong. I do meet a couple of people, and I'm not feeling super hot today. A little bit sick. A little bit of a virus going around at Slick Entertainment. <laughs> Maybe you, you you might hear Nick a little bit in the background coughing up while he works away as we prepare for GDC. All right, okay. Might be all I really need. I'm gonna show you guys what we worked on last week, if you guys remember. What we worked on last week was a like a, like a promo art, like a poster art.
So that's asking full shot wake up questions. That's right. That's right, William Malone. See, I remember. I remember the odds. I remember, I remember some things. Throw some horns on here. We'll, and we'll, we'll call ourselves warmed up, right? It's been a couple minutes of sketching. Yeah, five minutes. Maybe, maybe I'll just finish this a little bit. Now let's uh, play the composition. Wide screen always makes everything look better. Bad. Look at that. Cool. Alright, not bad for a little sketch. Fun little sketch. I am. I'm going to show you the final. Let's write down Mac. See if we can find it here. This is what we're working on today. <laughs> this little blob here. This awesome layout here. This is uh, going to be building things that help us make this. You know. That's right, poof rule of thirds. You got it. Um, I actually don't know how to do it on the newer Photoshop. I don't know how to do the rule of thirds on the newer Photoshop. Oh, well. So we're going to be playing around with uh, this layout here because this is going to be our screen. This is our like 6 by 9 so, as long as we keep things fun and interesting in this area, it'll be good. And I'll, show, I'll come back to it a few times, but here we go. Here's that image. Tab that away so you guys can see. Got our title at the back of the boat. Here's our guys chilling out. Boat. Uh, Nick helped me out uh, with the layout. We got the guys organized a little bit more, but yeah. You should check this out, JPE. Thank you, Julia, for uh, spreading the word. Yeah, this is what we worked on last week. Um, we wrapped it up a couple days after. Um, I posted a preview, but yeah, since you guys are here, you can check out our cool title image, cover image kind of thing. Uh, has all of our dudes. Has our hammer gal in the front. Axe guy on the side there. We got our shield dude there. Cool. Thanks. Good. Mission accomplished, JP. Glad, glad you dig it. And we had a space, and we actually managed to fit in our archer guy, which is our fourth, our fourth dude. And now he's in there. With a cool, crazy looking tendril, tail, who knows what it is. It's going to show up in the game, it's going to be great though. So yeah, thanks a lot everybody for being there. Um, usually I'm not used to doing that polished stuff in front of people. I'm used to doing goofy party trick art, but that was, a, that was actually a lot of fun. Well, cool, thank you Wolfgang, thank you. I'm here for the retweet from Infinite Ammo. How's it going? Yes, Al Cloca is a good buddy of ours. Very, very awesome. Welcome to, welcome, welcome here, Kalev Tate. Kalev Tate. Today we are doing... Storyboard stuff. We're doing 16 by 9 storyboard stuff, and these are these are written notes written by our designer Digidomo, who may or may not show up in the chat. He's uh, working from home today. Slick Entertainment Inc. is Nick Wanders, our coder. He's in the chat as well. We have a lot of great people in the chat. We got a lot of great developers. We got a lot of great artists. A lot of great people in general. Let's see. Beams for zones. Okay, let's see. All right. This we will take. Out. Okay, this is what we're making. A shot opens with Vikings on a campfire. That I can probably draw. Large thunder crack happens. Okay, cool. Jesus, I did this again. One second. Sorry about that. Photoshop hates this. I tabbed out to show you guys the art. The art here. Then it screwed up there. No problem. No problem. Alright, so let's see here. Vikings on a campfire. Vikings on a campfire. Now let's do something awesome called thumbnailing. I love thumbnailing. Cool. Where in Vancouver are you guys based? Around Waterfront. Around Waterfront area. Coal Harbor, I believe, is what it's called. Cool, so we're going to be working on... Oh, that was a good one, guess. Back in here. Oops. Oh. Alright, let's get uh, some thumbnail ideas out. Hide our note loan layer. He's working on... Vikings around a campfire. We can do this. Well, I usually just dive in. I think we might need to make up a smoke. That'll work. Yeah, so Coal Harbor. That's where we're, we are. Alec has dropped in the odd time. Say hey. Everybody, Alec is starting to start. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're just ripping off Darkest. We, we, we want just a sliver of their success, so we're putting uh, campfires in our open. All right. So I think lay out the scene. This is me laying out the scene. We got our four Vikings, right? And I think we have like their house set up. House there. 
Jay Maddox. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for joining us. Making Ragnarok scream. Big fans, big fans. Hope you enjoyed the stream. They were doing some loose stuff, as you can see. We vary, we vary, but we're here every week, every Wednesday, rain or shine. And it's been raining, because me and Nick aren't feeling too hot, but we're still out here. Yes, yeah, so that's not a bad layout. Okay, not bad, not bad. And we can have uh, the background of the village there. We can have the Jarl house there. These are the key things I already know that we're incorporating, because we're going to be sliding around. Okay. Sounds not bad. Ladyhawk, how's it going? That's Terra. Terra, I believe. Who ran into us at the Sony PlayStation Experience in Vegas. Good to see you again, Terra. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by again. Always a pleasure to see you. She got to play Viking Squad with all the other great people out of Vegas. But she's not from Vegas. I know. I, I remember that now. All right. But cool. J Mad X. Cool. Thanks for. Oh yeah. Thanks for following. Just heard. Just heard this. The Hawk scream at you. All right. So this is one. One. Not bad. This is one layout we can try. Let's let's try another one. That didn't take too long, right? Let's try another one. Um, we could do a classic, straight rip of Darkest Dungeon. We could if we really wanted to. Guys, fire. Hanging around the fire, some supplies here. Um, there's a big thing in French called Mise en Scène, whatever it's called. Um, it's basically six elements in a pitcher, or all the human eye can really figure out. It's like the sweet spot, so we're going to think of what we can play around with that. Oh yeah, that film school, paying off. Okay, we could do it like that. I kind of like a little bit more of the offset, but that's still kind of cool. Actually, here, I'm going to do this for us so we can see what it looks like with the proper setup. Two, three, and four. Invert that. This is basically just going to go over so we can kind of see. Yeah, there we go. We're going to turn this on and off. We can see which scene we like better. Not bad. Not bad. Yarl's Yarl house. That's right. Yarl. Yarl. <laughs> We're building a house for you. Right, it's actually our bad guy, our, our evil Jarl that fights our Viking. Right, and we actually we're actually missing our composer today. He usually just hangs out with, with us, Gord McLattery. He's out in Cuba. He's out in Cuba, ladies and gentlemen. You've been playing it way too much. Yes, Didi is so awesome. <laughs> Great, Terra. Yes, Terra. Uh, we've been playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon lately. And I'm 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 such I'm such a dork. I put my fan art on the Darkest Dungeon uh, page like the moment it went live. <laughs> so mine's gonna be like the oldest, the oldest Darkest Dungeon fan art. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. Oops, oops. I'm gonna take this one here, and I'm gonna kind of mix it up a little bit because I kind of want to see them on the left side. One more setup. Okay, that's cool. We can put it in the foreground back here. Because what ends, needs to happen is eventually we're going to be panning up from here and panning back down. So the more room we have here, pretty cool. You don't mind it here either. Yep, you're you're, you're all over here. You you, you didn't know? <laughs> Samo, how's it going? Good to see you, Samo. That's not Samu, is it? My buddy Sam Yang. Maybe, maybe. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for making this the uh, Ragnarok. And SD Cowboy 85. 85, there's a year. Same year as our designer is born in. Uh, I don't believe it. There's a good year. Cool. A lot of these guys? Hmm. JPE. <laughs> How's it going, man? Thanks a lot for joining us and for the follow. Really appreciate it. Every Wednesday, we get our dev stream on. Viking Squad, the best lane based brawler to. C All achievements unlocked. There's another achievement that you can unlock. Welcome to the squad. How's it going? Thanks so much for the follow. We really, really appreciate it. All right, guys. I think... Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with something like this. Yeah. I think we can still fit stuff all over there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Turn down the music. Fit. Sky Gray. Welcome to the squad. How's it going? Ragnarok is all over today. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, cool. Thank you so much, Sky Gray. I really, really appreciate that. Really love the art. Cool. <laughs> Even these scribbles. I really, really I, I'm glad you can use your imagination, Sky Gray. That's why I, can, I keep flipping back to our, our, our cool cover image, because so you guys know that like we're we're legit here. That's like yes, Julia CS. I'll tell you, give Julia 
let let me know if you want like uh, I don't know art art related stuff. Uh, thanks so much for bringing all these people. Retired slacker, how's it going? Welcome to the squad. Today, retired slacker, we are doing storyboard stuff. And now since we have our cool thumbnail we like, which I think I like the third one. Third one's the charm. Blow it up. And let's hide the rest of this stuff. Hide the rest of that stuff. Not that stuff. This stuff. <coughs> you have to excuse me, I got a bit of a cold or kind of crazy virus. Dune to a Goblin 43. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us today on this storyboard, loose conceptual storyboard place. Oh, the cover image, man. The scribbles are still better than my art. <laughs> cool. Good, good thing. Good thing, Sky Gray. I'm glad that you, you you got to see our cover image. You know that, you know there's something else going on here. It's like, but I'm a big I'm a I'm a big I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Um, artwork. Okay, so we're gonna bring this up to another little level. So we're gonna pick a bigger brush. We start here. So kind of like this here as our um, where our Vikings will be sitting. This is just going to be a little bit more polished. We're not going too crazy because we're still going to be moving stuff around. Plus, these things are going to be puppets, so they're going to be separated, so we can move things individually. So we're going to have to keep that in mind while we build build our stuff as well. But these Vikings will be chilling out. They're, they're going to be happy. This is like right before the big event where their Yarrow goes crazy. Just keeps ordering them again and again and again and again. Again, to go out and get their treasure. Go and get treasure for them because he gets so greedy. We can add cool elements like this, and we can actually expand o outside of our... Uh, our screen because we can pan stuff in and rotate. <clears throat> here to learn, here to learn, Julius. So yes, cool. You got any questions? Um, typically I do hop in and out of another thing. If you guys want to see how I do stuff or how I approach things, just mention it in the chat. And hopefully, if I'm watching properly, I'll be able to read it. Give me a problem though. I'm usually pretty good. I'm usually pretty good at it. Really bringing all these people in. So great. Thanks so much, Julia. We really appreciate it. Is the CS for Counter Strike? Music super low. I can turn it. Let's. Thanks, thanks for the heads up, Dan Mac. Listen to music. Okay, I cranked it up a bit more. I'm gonna move this little. Okay. Okay, music going up a little bit more. Music is all done by um, most, mostly, rarely, but it's by the audio designer for Rogue Legacy, our good friend and composer, Mr. Gordon McLattery. Came here for good Julia. You came here for because of Julia. Thank you, Mirton. You came here on a weird day because I'm kind of sick. Nick's kind of sick. We're all kind of sick. But we're, we're, but we're powering through. So kind of like this, um, we kind of want to fit everybody in there. So I can kind of cram a dude there. Yeah, I think we actually fit everybody there. Oh, we can, we, we can make one of the lonely Vikings over here, like, sharpening stuff. That's kind of cool. So we can move that around. Just so it makes more sense is what we're going to do. I confused myself. Okay. We're going to take this. Cal Caleb Tate? Caleb Tate. Welcome to the squad. Thank you so much. Having a really confusing name to say. I don't know what's going on. All right, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna have this so it's easy for us. Outward waif. Oh, outward waif. Welcome to the squad. Thank you so much for uh, joining us as we make cool Cinemax storyboards. That we're gonna turn to puppets. It's gonna be exciting. Really exciting. Jarl over art. Welcome to the squad. Jarl. That's right. We're 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 putting your house in in the game. <laughs> we have a Jarl in our game. Are all over art, but thank you so much for joining the squad. Aurelia plays. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Man, our our, uh, our birds getting like Ragnarok is working overtime today. You guys, Julius CS brought a whole bunch of great people. Thank you so much for coming. Erlu zero zero. Erlo Erlo zero zero. I want to say Erlo zero zero. Thank you so much for joining us, my friend. Welcome to the squad. Where every Wednesday, the great fellas here at Slick Entertainment. Do a dev stream involving art, involving game stuff. We have coders up in here. The chat's full of great, great people. In and out of the scene, unfortunately. JB, that's okay. Thank, thanks, thanks for the warning. If I had some imperative to ask you, I'd be a little bit bummed that you left without saying goodbye. But thank you. Really, really appreciate it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. That's going to happen a few more times. Guarantee it. Cool. So... Mirden, 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 welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us today. As you might have probably seen, we are working on some super fun storyboard stuff. Press we, press we, press we. I want to say welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're doing some fun, rough storyboard stuff. 
Cool, so now we got this going on. See, so now we can move it around. I mean, the foreground, we can... Mr. Kecko87, welcome to the squad. 87, great year. Great year, if I must say so myself. I know, <laughs> Ragnarok is off to the races. Let's... Welcome... <laughs> D-Wolf7, welcome to the squad. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to look at some basic shapes here. So I, I kind of thought about this in advance, but... Um, we have like an uh, almost like an uh, uh, hourglassy shape on our our hammer gal. <coughs> Excuse me, a wedge shape on the fire guy, a circle on a shield, and a, like a thin rectangle on our archer. So we'll think about that as we make this scene here a little bit more complicated. We're gonna hide this. We're gonna make the next layer. The next layer is gonna be involving uh, some kind of Viking hut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I stop following. Now, nah, you have to keep following. I just definitely got to give a shout out to everybody who's stopped by and uh, following us. So I think we're going to put um, put a Viking house here and see how that looks. It might be a little bit too low, but actually that'll probably be okay. There we go. Just some shapes here. Uh, a lot of this is going to be kind of just like feel. You just kind of play it by feel. There's not like right or wrong way to do it. Okay, look at that. See, we're, we're, we're already building a cool. <clears throat> Forgive my stutter again. Sick. The brain's not working at full capacity. It kind of rarely is, but now I'll lighten this up a bit. I'm making this behind. Okay, cool. Cutting out the lights, just get some lights going on there. Aer aerodynamic fetus. This is so cool to watch. Great. Cool. What do you use to draw? You know I don't use a mouse. If I use a mouse, my hand would be broken. I swear. I actually use the Cintiq. It's a... It's a, it's a you guys can't see it, but it's like a, a monitor you can draw right on. And it's actually in the bottom explanation. You can actually see... Uh, excuse me. You can actually see uh, what I use, but it's a Cintiq 21 UX. It's great. I highly recommend anybody that's interested in art and has got a bit of stuff lying around, a bit of spare change lying around, you can definitely pick one up. All right. This is going to be our background here. That's cool. So we can get, like, some parallax thing. I'll make that even lighter so we can... There we go. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, cool. So we got a little bit of control there. Oops. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> And I think what I want to do is put this down here, because we're, we're going to do the pan thing. It's going to be awesome. Yes. Yes. Our designer, Digi, wrote out this beginning intro script thing, which is really cool and kind of ties the game together. <coughs> I think you've always wondered what that digital drawing. Yes, digital drawing. i got to say, after you draw with an undo and um, uh, the power of like free transforming and copying, and it's just it's just the best. So for ease of... Moving stuff around. I'm gonna. There we go. I'm just filling this in here. So I have a nice bigger piece to do. Because the more. I actually learned this from Marlin, our trailer designer. If you guys want to check out our trailer, just hit Slick Entertainment Inc. Go to VikingSquadGame.com. You guys can check out our trailer. Our trailer is made up a lot of this this kind of thing. And Marlin always told me the more art you have, the more stuff you can play around with. So. We got this. We got this on this and let's do some uh, just some supplies breaking up the silhouette <laughs> supplies I J Jesse draws a lot of supplies <coughs> perfect Yarl over art you're exactly right I, I, I definitely started with um, a super super cheap um, what was it now super cheap Wacom I don't think you can get them anymore I th now there's the bamboo and I know a lot of pro like really really good guys that draw guys and gals that draw on the bamboo and it's it's fine it's really really fine uh, Genzo Man's a very popular um, concept guy. He he he's still I think he's still on a tablet, which is cool. Like I've just found it's a little bit quicker for me to draw on a Cintiq. <coughs> and again, sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Got a cool looking bit there. We can kind of pan through. You guys can kind of see what you guys can see what I'm going on. Actually, it might be easier. Princess Chu, welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us here at Slick every Wednesday. You guys can expect to see some cool, cool game Devin. Okay, the pink doesn't really show up that much better, so we'll just leave it. 
He's bamboo all the way through my first game. Works great. Nick's Pixel, there we go. Welcome back, by the way, Nick's Pixel. I remember you here last week. Thanks for showing up again. I love the regulars. You guys know it. You guys know. We love the regulars here at Slick Entertainment. <coughs> cool. So I think we got that element. We got that element. We can do some cool relaxing stuff. Initially, Digi, uh, Kaylee, our designer. I always go by his online handle whenever we're in this mode for some kind of weird. Um, said that we're going to have a couple, maybe the, the Vikings in this area look up or something. We'll just change it. Cool, Julie's bringing in more people. Awesome. Bamboo versus into his thoughts, asks Mackie for the win. Uh, I haven't really used a bamboo. I haven't used a bamboo for a while, so you have to ask someone in the chat that is a little bit more familiar with that tech than I. <coughs> I started on into it, and it was great, so it's super. You know, you can make art with, like, pudding in a stick, so really it does all right, guys, so this thing can go here. Since there's not too much verticality in our game, I think it might be fun to push the verticality in this spot. <clears throat> Since I love smoke so much, drying, I don't smoke anymore. Got over that nasty yet. Oh. Hey. Nice. Oops. Bamboo super cheap. There you go. Next pixel. Yep, yep. For your price, definitely agree. <coughs> ah, excuse me again. All right. Now let's make this back cliff. Hide those bad boys. Working on this cliff back here. Put the Jarl's house up there. On this cliff. Big old Jarl hut. I don't really have a too much. What it looks like. Got a bit of an idea. More, more like, it's more like the same, same kind of thing. Old, in the ground, Viking longhouse. Ain't into its replacement for bamboo. Yeah, Pressway. Hello, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the squad. Thanks for hanging out. Today we're doing um, some super fun, rough stuff. Storyboard stuff for our game over here. Viking Squad. Yes, that's what we're making. We're making cinematic stuff for the game Viking Squad. And it's loads of fun. Put this over here. Cool. I think that'll work. Let's see. Did it? I think we might need to offset the Jarl's cliff house so it doesn't go exactly there. But that's fine, because we'll just go up. Yeah, let's move um this kind of stuff over here. A little bit more over there. There we go. Yeah. See, that's the biggest strength of the digital stuff, it's just the speed that you can lay stuff out at. <coughs> Excuse me. So if this is our big Jarl hut. Boltnik, how's it going there, Rob? That's Rob Lundy from Ottawa. A very, very cool artist. He always has a great stream, so be sure to check him out every Tuesday. I want to say Tuesday. Another Canadian artist, you know? Great guy. Super, super fast. Always one of my things that I always appreciate in an artist is their, how fast they can get something done. Thanks for stopping by, Rob. Always a pleasure to hear from you. <coughs> I'm a little bit sick, Rob, so you're going to hear me coughing directly into the mic and ruining everyone's ruining everyone's day. All right. I'll make this even lighter so that... Okay, let's do this first. Hide these guys. <coughs> Try every day except Monday. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry, Rob, man. You're a machine. Yep. That's, uh, that's, that's Molten Ink right there. Very, 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 very kind of similar style to me. I think I'm pretty sure we're born on the same day or something. In your neck, our coder, coughing in the background. So I'm just throwing some light down in here. <coughs> Again, it's more about layout than anything. We can add more cool stuff to it after, but for now, it's gonna work. It's gonna work, guys. Flatten that down. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll make this a little bit darker. That'll work. <coughs> Just a little bit later. Alright. Cool. Okay, the little pan there. Little pan there. And uh right there. And then let's like cut this out just so we can uh, save some Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, there we go. Hey, Merle Mage, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. 
It's my gal Sherry. Always, always supportive. We always love hearing from her. He's working on a cool project with Chevy Ray Johnson, who's a very, very cool game developer. Let's just check out his stuff at a. Uh, Chevy's a pretty. Che Chevy's been around. He's a good friend of ours. Good guy. <coughs> okay, now with all this, I think we got our first shot going at least. So check this out. Um, let's hide this. Yeah. A little viewfinder. We can kind of start the scene here. Let's hide that. Start the scene here. We can kind of like pan up like this. We have a lot of control. We can organize a good shot with what we got going on here, though. <coughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Sometimes, sometimes I, I sometimes I don't notice people in the chat. So we 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 don't have our regular troop of three people watching chat. So I I apologize apologize if I do miss some people. It it has been known to happen. Plus, I'm kind of sick. That's okay. We're, we're, we're going to make this happen. Cool. So, we can either just go to the next shot or stay on this shot. I think we, I think we might stay on this shot and finish her up. <coughs> between that, between that. Now we just need, like, a sky. A sky we can just throw in. That won't be a problem. So, we're going to have, like, some clouds, and they're going to be, like, four beams. Like, Excuse me. <coughs> Creeping around, lurking, Merle Mage. Just got your Staug. There you go. How's it going, man? I remember you from last week. So there's our our beams. One beam is gonna hit this house, and it's gonna be awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. We might actually make that whole scene. Okay, but now we got kind of like a layout of what we want. We got the Viking village, close up of our, close up of our cool guys. Yeah. Uh, oops. This will work. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke. We can make the smoke do something. I don't know. This will be on a phone. Just yeah. Oh, excuse me. That sickness. That sickness. Okay. Between these, let's uh. So the beams will be on a different layer. Let's just make this now. Starting like big. We're gonna enlarge it so we can get the proper resolution. But either way. We're drawing at 1080, but we're going to have to double it so it actually looks proper. <coughs> but it'll all be good. It'll all be good, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This is what we're drawing now. We're drawing the sea sky. Uh, okay. Not the hottest of clouds, but it'll work. You might see in your game engine as well. Yes, next pixel we do. <coughs> Wish I could probably bring up trees. Not. Yes, we animated all, and it, it we animated with the same system we used to animate our characters, our puppet system. Maybe I can show you something. Just give me a second. I'm loading up now. Give me something more interesting to look at while I load up. Better. Cool. Let's load up a puppet here. This is what we're going to be using to, 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 to just do a scene. See title screen traps it. <coughs> Work. Title screen. Here. Work. Yeah. Cool. So something like this, we actually have everything on a bone. Slide it around and. Film it, like record it, and then play that puppet. <coughs> um, like, raw. Check that out. See, look at that. That's what we're making. We're making stuff like this. There's, there's our Yarl pointing and telling him to go get treasure. Ooh, Bob Ross, that scene. Yeah, little happy trees. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're building. That's what we're building today, guys. And we actually we spend the most time in this first part because this first part's like a combo part. It's gonna take up a lot of uh, space and. I believe if you do a good job on this, we'll like basically be. I think, anyway. <laughs> it's Bob Watson. Julius, yes, Necker Dancer shirt. Yes! Right. Rep in the Necker Dancer shirt. Oh, there we go. Shh. Everybody check out that game for sure. While you're playing Darkest Dungeon, while I'm selling all of our good friends' games, well, on our, on our, on our dev stream. <laughs> I did tour with a. Garden, welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for the follow. Making Ragnarok stream. Ragnarok's been working over overtime today, guys. 
But that's all thanks to Julia, I guess. Julia, you you uh, helped us out with uh, all these great follows of these great people. That's right. Tara, Smiling Monkey. We're all good. We're all, we're, we're all good. We're all, we're all friends here. Hopefully you can learn a little bit more about art or game dev. We can answer those questions. Best of our ability. We've always, always tried to. Okay, I think I'll just... Uh, Thank you, BC. Indie hotbed. The the hottest indie bed. Right, damn Mac. Let's let's hope so. We'll see how well we do, and then then we'll go by. <laughs> Excuse me. Using a lot of throat clearing stuff today. So this is just kind of get the idea of clouds. Um, not the hottest of drawing clouds, as you can plainly see, but it gets the idea across. It does look a lot like spine, doesn't it? I could probably feel it a little bit more, but he was heavily influenced by Spine when he made when he when he made it. Okay, so with everything, throw this down on the old clouds. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we're gonna have a green beams, right? And for green beams, we can just rush them in with these guys. Oops. Uh, and four. And these we can turn on and off in the editor, but look at that. Look at that. Yeah, cool. You never want to, like, that'll work. So with all this cool stuff going around, we definitely have quite the scene. <coughs> Again, I'm normally not clearing my throat this often. It's just this, just the times right now. Let's sick here. It's slick. That's sick. Let's throw some mountains down. Mountain. Cool. Oops. <laughs> uh, green is the color of evil. It is. Green is the color of evil. Does need to teach me that as well. Yeah, I like, I like green lightning. Shooting green lightning means you're like the most evil guy ever. <clears throat> I think it was a... Uh, I actually think it was Dino Riders, where the bad guys had blue lasers and the good guys had red lasers, and it really confused me. But I think it was Dino Riders. I'll, I'll have to double check that. Don't quote me on that on my Dino Riders knowledge just yet. But I remember it confusing me as a kid <coughs> when the good guys had the bad-looking lasers. And CS Art School International. Disney told me. Trying to program an inventory system while watching is not working. Oh no, next pixel. Man, inventory stuff, yeah. We got we got a pretty beefy inventory system at uh in our game. Let's see if we can do it. You know, making to open it, make it run around. <coughs> ha! Thank you very much. Hey, hey Tara, no problem. Happy to do it. But yes. I am we 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 we, we don't wanna let anybody down who's who's is stops by and checks us out every Wednesday, and it's not that bad. Like I'm still, I can still move. I can still draw, some, so, somewhat. Okay, I think this is this is gonna work. So basically, this is what we gotta do in like a bigger form, so we can slide it around and move it. Oh, Dan, you're such a jerk. Leather poke. Fine, fine. You know what? I'll draw it, it totally different later, so we can quit making fun of me. Here, let's go start. Yeah, here we go. This is some of our inventory guys. Get going, yeah. Died on the new. Yes. Got a new um, graphic for the lane attack. Oh, what? No, what happened? I must have screwed it up. Oh, weird. Oh, that's interesting. That's a kind of a bug. I'll have to tell the guys that. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, damn it. I left the sound on. I guess I can just hear the boat all the time. Hey, Grimmy Bear. Cool. Glad you, glad, glad you dig it. That's just that's just the intro level. That's the first thing you get into. Got our cool Bardbarian. Game by our buddy Mike Gabbery. He's there strumming away. 
Okay. Let's uh, switch these lanes so I can... There we go. Alright, cool. Ice bits looking awesome. Thanks, Dan Mac. Yeah, I simplified them. They look a lot better now. Just took... Just took a little while to get... Uh, <coughs> organized. But. Alright, so we're going to double these pieces. Because I think we just want to work on them and get them a little more tighter. Once you do that, this is basically the, the hero shot that we're gonna, we can do a lot of stuff with. So let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. You're back up there. You're back up there. You're there. And um, our background. Crazy, crazy background. Barbarian Jesse in a past life. Oh, I wish. Wish. I wish I'd be the cool guy I can play play guitar. Not. Just uh, just a lame guy that knows like the names of people that play guitar. <coughs> All right. So with our with our setup here, I think the shot looks okay. Oh, okay, got the shot. Yeah. More or less. More or less. Let's uh, grab our elements here and duplicate them. But on the rare occasion that I do revisit. And now we will flatten you out. Flatten you. Now for the big ticket. Stretch that bad boy up. <coughs> cool. Let's make sure we got it here. About there. This is about how big we gotta draw them. That's okay. Thanks for breaking find our trailer. There you go. Thank you very much. Digi, Digidoma, there's our designer. He's online right now. Talking it up. Alright, now I gotta pump it up. Boom, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. There we go. Now it's double the res. Okay, that's just what we needed. Just what we needed, guys. So I think what we can do is actually shrink this a little bit so we have more stuff to play with. There we go. And since we have that as a guide, let's see. Don't need you. Sorry, just a bit of organization here. Boom. It's going to be good. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now hide you. So now we have the pieces we can slide around. Cool. Cool. Look at that, guys. Could be great. <coughs> Grimmy Bear. I guess a streamer brought in by our friend, the very wonderful Julia. Thank you so much for bringing in your streamer pals. We're big fans of streamers over here. It's like actually the last, geez, the last three or four games I bought are because of streamers. We love you guys. You guys are going to be the guys that people trust more than game reviewers. IMO, I think. It's funny, a little bit heavy, the top topic, but all right, cool guys, let's do it. So this we might need a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. A little more playroom. So let's bring it in a little bit more so we can kind of slide it around. But I think this will work. I think we're going to draw it at this res. It's going to be awesome. So let's start on something like this. Hide our clouds and our rough. There we go. All of our heroes around a campfire. That's what we'll work on first. So we made this. We made the uh, size way bigger. So we might have to like do a little more deal here. Let's see here. I kind of like putting them on this little tilt because it makes the shot more interesting. We'll give them a big slab of ground. This is going to be another like kind of rough pass, but we're going to see a lot more detail. This is going to be a lot of fun. Get the classic campfire. <coughs> Actually, I want to make sure Kaylee brought this up, and he said that we got to make sure it looks like... All right, there we go. There's our campfire. Let's, let's make sure the campfire is, looks at least looks the same. There you go. Stay warm, little buddy. There we go. Yeah. Cool. So that's about... The average Jesse campfire, what it looks like. That's what we're going to draw. No problem. Actually, let's use the snip tool. Yes. Copy. Yeah, look at that. This is just in case. This is just for consistency, right? You still hear the campfire. So let's... Uh, what are you cur currently working on? The Real C. Miller. Good to see you again, my friend. We are currently working on stuff like this. We are working on cutscene stuff, but we're starting from a rough, rough place. 
excuse me. And 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 me and Nick are a little bit sick. Achilles working from home. More and more pieces here. Actually, I got the picture of my uh, campfire in my head. Plus, I can only draw a campfire one way, so I don't even know why I took a picture of it. But that's okay. All right, campfire rocks. There you go. I don't know how we're gonna. I don't know how we're gonna do the smoke, to be honest. But maybe we'll just leave the smoke up for now. It does make a big thing on this. Maybe I'll make it a big static thing later. Push, choice, online. Like, what's going on? Window snipping tool for the wind. Yes, Wolfgang, that tool is insane. Digidomo, Kaylee, our designer, got me in on it. Man, is it the coolest tool ever. I recommend and if anybody has Windows 7 and hasn't used it and is an artist, check out that snipping tool because it is so cool. <coughs> totally sucks, Real C. Miller. Yeah, Real C. Miller, you out of, are you out of Seattle? I want, I want to say you are, Real C. Miller. I do. Good to see you again. Always a pleasure. This is the, this is where you can add fun stuff because Vikings all they do is keep skulls around and spears, barrels I guess, right? We'll draw these a nice big res so we can organize it however we want. Not trying to get too busy, but this is always my favorite thing to draw. It's like a bear, a bear rug. Always my favorite. Just like a the sleeve of a bear rug. Probably pretty comfy to sit on. <coughs> yeah, M M rugs, M rugs. Yeah, if you're, I think M rugs just discovered the snipping tool, and you're gonna be just as stoked as I am. OSX had it for years. What? Well, sorry, Dan Mac. We're not we're we're not Mac people. I'm from Cincinnati, but I should be heading out to Pax Prime if all goes according to plan. Cincinnati, cool, real C Miller, real Cincinnati Miller. That's I'm gonna remember that up here now. PAX Prime, cool. Maybe see you there. Don't know if we'll be there at PAX. Always a pleasure to show off our game, so if you're there, definitely check out the Viking Squad, guys. Cool. Oops, sorry. <coughs> Gonna catch a fire, I know. Right, that is really close to the fire. Oh. We don't want to burn down our cool bear skin rug, but okay. Okay, now let's look at our, 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 our buddies here. <coughs> Um, our our hero character, the one that we show the most, is typically our, our hammer maiden. They'll so probably put her in a good spot because she actually looks really good. We'll put her here, maybe. Give her the big horns. And this is kind of uh, the the style of nose bridge. It's kind of like what we got going on in Viking Squad. It's kind of like our signature nose bridge. Nobody else has a nose bridge. <coughs> Matt Napers, eighteen. You're late. Our little buddy from. Uh, I want to say Jersey, a super small place. I think it's Jersey in the UK. Super small island. Hello, Matt Napers. Good to see you again, my friend. Matt Napers named Ragnarok, our little hawk that's been screaming overtime. <laughs> Julius, yes, found the snipping tool. Everybody celebrate that snipping tool hype. <coughs> again, sorry for the coughs. Yes, that's right. That's right. You know that you know how shitty printing screen was. Yeah, now you don't have to. There we go. That's cool. We can throw the hammer, hammer gal there with the big hammer beside there, curled up. I can kind of put them in ponchos. That that saved me a lot of a lot of work. You know how much Jesse likes saving work. Kind of like that. Yeah, cool. It's pretty good looking. This one, yep. Julia hype. That's right. Julie's been super nice today and brought a lot of her streaming friends and. Cohorts to the stream today. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another guy whose shape's really easy to fit in here is probably the circle. It's probably our shield man, blocking a a dragger hand right there. Oops. Whoops. All right. You guys gotta show us how. Maybe we can get some uh, weird little faces. Slick guys. Throw him over here. <laughs> I do like just put them in these big like Viking ponchos. Stay warm. That's cool. Dreezy five two three. Welcome to the squad. Thanks for making Ragnarok known. And give a holler. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Probably is. And again, digital. You rule. Oh my head scales off. I'll just shrink it with free transform. All Twitch noobs here. 
Yes. So many new people. Love it. I don't know if Twitch noobs new to Twitch. I don't know. Alright. Let's put this here and here and here. Bring him down. Can't watch the stream for mobile? That's just me? I don't know. <clears throat> if anyone else wants to help out our buddy Nick's Pixel, who's busy working on an inventory system for their game, give them a shout. If anyone's watching on mobile. Okay, so we got two of our Vikings here. Cool. Let's see who else. now we might want to fit in our hatchet dude, who's actually the biggest. In this image, we kind of scaled them all the same. He's actually really big. <coughs> Me. Except Moltenik. Moltenik is like so pro. It's 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 ridiculous. Everybody do. I'm not kidding. Go check him out. He streams almost every day. Super helpful. Super fun to watch. Out of Ottawa. I don't even know what that, what the, the weather is like in Ottawa, but further you go east, the scarier it seems to get. Okay, so blood of the gamer. Welcome to the squad. What a cool name! <clears throat> Thanks so much for showing up and hanging out this Wednesday with Slick Entertainment, doing some fun dev stuff. Now you know what I might want to do. I might want to keep these separate just so we can actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, guys. I'm going to keep all this stuff here separate so that we can draw <coughs> them getting up, uh, taking off their ponchos. So, yeah, do that. Plus, I think we're close to, um, I'm going to keep it on a different layer. Hey, guys. They're there. We're going to hide them. We're going to name the layer Vikings, I guess. Yeah, I won't totally lose them by naming them Vikings. It's a called Vikings. Don't get me started about the weather in Ottawa. I don't know how you'd even want to start a family in Ottawa, Moltenink. Like, my god. So it, Godforsaken is what the rest of Canada calls Ottawa. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Me and Nick coughing up a storm here. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw this this, the, the, this cliff thing here. It's going to be awesome. Put up here. Got a little bleed. There we go. Okay, cool. We're going to draw this. This is what we're going to draw in good copy. This is all like Vikings really need, right? They just need spears and skulls and barrels of supplies and bearskin rugs. And this will be good. This will be a good part to add to our thing. We can slide it around. Problem. And always like supporting fellow devs. Sweet. Sweet. Thank you, Dreezy523. Fellow devs. That's what we got. We got, a, we got a great pile of devs in the chat. I love it. Alright, guys. We're going to bring this to final just because we've been watching a lot of loose stuff. Got to get some like... Tighter stuff happening. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, been good. We deserve it. We deserve it, don't we? Actually, let's see. I think, I think this will work. Yeah. You're on Vancouver Island, Erlu. Very cool. I actually lived on the island for a while. I lived uh, around downtown Victoria when I was in film. On the island, and uh, the island had a. I think they had a Microsoft Studio there for a little bit. I don't know if it's there anymore. But yes, more Canadians. Very, very cool. What I'm doing now is I'm actually just using a thinner brush. I think it's almost too thin. I think I'm confident enough with this bigger brush we can use. <coughs> Excuse me again. So, just kind of filling in the... Filling in the rough lines we had. This this process usually goes by pretty quick. Now here's another good tool that not enough people use called this awesome tool. It's called the line tool. And everyone should be using it all the time. Whatever they're doing. Excuse me. Uh, six. Six? Call six? Yeah, sure. Let's call six. Oh. Use your masking method to make the drop shadow for another streamer. Joust works so well. Cool. The real C. Miller. <laughs> nice. <coughs> awesome. Yeah, Smoke Look. We, uh, I, think, I think we raided him once. Or tried to. <coughs> we're not very good at getting raids going because we're not too sure what's up with that. But yeah, awesome. Smoke's a very, very cool guy. He was playing Volgar the he was playing Volgar the Viking and he was playing Green Day Dookie, which is like the anthem of my elementary school days, which is pretty awesome. Very, very cool streamer. It'd be awesome to see if uh, he wants to check out the squad, check out the Viking squad when it hits. You can team up with, uh, with 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 more streamers. It's gonna be online co-op. It's gonna be a blast. It'll be so much fun. <coughs> Excuse me again. 
Alright, it's barrel time. No problem. Just drawn barrels before. For a guy that hates drawing barrels like I do, I sure draw a hell of a lot of them. On so many different styles of barrels. Actually, let's do it. Let's uh, let's see some barrels. Going to the dojo. This is where Kaylee hangs out. Swings around, fight stuff. M rugs. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining. We're just gonna just spawn some barrels. <coughs> Type in Nick's handy thing. Let's go to containers, barrels, spawn, spawn, spawn. These barrels. Buddy time. Join the squad. Look at all these barrels, guys. Glorious, glorious barrels. Oh no. You're gonna push me off. There we go. Smash! Smash those barrels! Yes! Man, look at all these sweet <laughs> berserk potions. Yes, and the ham. It's glorious. Glorious. I guess that's why you, you want barrels in your game. That's right. Sorry, uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Pop, Pop Blue Show. Hello, welcome to the squad. We're working on Viking Squad. Thanks for joining our uh, team. Oh, you can, you can also pick it up. Right? Yeah, there we go. Check that out. You can pick it up and throw your enemies. Eat the ham. Oh, yeah. And I think you can set it and you can hop right over them. Oh, and that. Yes. Yes. Cool. Grimmy Bear. Thanks. Thanks, pal. Grimmy Bear, you're another streamer, I guess. I'm guessing. Another streamer. Thanks for dropping by. So that's why we, we we draw barrels because they're really fun to load. Barrels have corks, I guess. Street Fighter bonus round. Yeah, that's right. That's totally right. Uh, when they're when 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 the barrels keep dropping from the sky, and then they start beating the crap out of your dude if you miss them. I always thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, we we're definitely kind of returned to form or uh, taking old school. With with our title, we're really happy with it. We're gonna have a good time. <coughs> King looks awesome. Take the art style. Very cool, Green Bear. That's good. It's good that you do, because every Wednesday you're gonna get a get a shot in the arm of more barbarian stuff, which is me. I'm glad you dig the art. Really, really appreciate it. The whole game's gonna look like that because it's a game built by three people. So, Blue Jay nine ten. Welcome to the squad. How's it going? Today we are doing some awesome, fun, cinematic stuff for the intro of Viking Squad. It's going by good. Things going by good, guys. We've 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 gone from super rough to super loose to just hanging out to uh, really getting some fun, solid cinematic stuff happening. I think, anyways. I think we're doing good. There we go. Yes, this is gonna fit so well. You guys will be so proud of me. There we go. That's right. Thank you, Dan Mac. Can't forget Power Up Audio, who is helping us on the audio front <coughs> remotely, who occasionally shows up in our stream. So, audio guys, they get their eh, answer, questions answered as well. Sitting on this nice, comfy rock. Yeah. Let's throw this other guy back there. I didn't even draw this cheesy skull. It's just cheesy skull. This probably wasn't a human that they killed. It's some other weird thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Add some texture, as always. Remember, guys, don't make it look like the weapons and stuff you're drawing haven't ever been used, because they always have. God, your brain works totally different way from mine. It says Blushin more. Oh, really, Blushin? I'm not too sure what you're meaning by that. <clears throat> is it is it from the from me fighting the barrels? You would have fought them differently. Is that what's going? On? About a blue I take it you're an artist, streamer, something like that. Cool. Okay, so yeah, yeah not bad. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, now let's see the important part. Jesse's campfire. Man, this is that great Rogue Legacy music. Da -da. Lord McGladdery, very, very cool guy to work with. Very bearded, very Viking-y. <coughs> Grace first and draw something. Uh, oh, yeah, um, yeah, breaking up the lines. We just do one of these, and then we just, uh, oh, wait, that's a bad place to put it. Let's put it here. Do one of those, and we just, like, now it looks a lot more interesting. To me, anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, guys, you have the worst audio this time. It's going to be me and Nick just hacking away.
There we go. Now let's get the uh, the logs in. Manager coder, but if I ever try to draw a barrel, there's no way I can imagine and present it like you do. Oh, I see. <coughs> yeah, the barrel. Uh, I've drawn a lot of barrels, and I screwed up a lot of barrels. There's a lot of barrels in a lot of the things I draw. I think it's like a, it's like a comfort thing. So I'm kind of used to drawing it in a lot of different ways. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, yeah, so here we go. This will work. This will work. Let's give it a little stuff burning. And we can probably give it one of these. I find um I used to want to draw everything super high res, and um, I'm learning now as our game is filling up with textures that don't need to be that big. Finally learning. A lot slower than Nick Nick would probably want, but I am learning. <coughs> Not even speak about the speed doing. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Like it's kind of kind of my, my me and uh, actually Molten Ink who's in the uh, chat there. It's kind of in our focus, I believe. <coughs> Mind jacked. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us here at Slick Entertainment as we uh, fill another Wednesday full of great game dev goodness. Right. Let's do another barrel. Let's do another weird barrel over here. Got me on barrels now. There we go. Not bad. So with enough of this. Sliding around. Yeah, we got a lot of play. A lot of play. No problem. Okay, let's see here. Alright, guys. Okay, we can probably grab our palette a little bit at least from our levels. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> right into the mic. Oops, no, you're falling. He's falling. Okay. Okay, let's grab. Let's find the start tutorial. Cool. There we go. Yeah, okay, this is where we kind of are the beginning. So I might be able to try to incorporate some of the colors here at least. Here's there's the stools. The house. Not bad. I'm pretty cool. Oh, and there's crates too. Fish? Vikings love fish. Are you kidding? Look at this. They have crates of fish. See that? Let's zoom in. Front. Front. Yeah. Oh, these ones don't have anything in them, I don't think. Ow. Okay. <clears throat> From over here. Oh, this is a this is a, this is a cover of one of the Rogue Legacy songs. I'm gonna grab this one. Use our handy dandy snip tool. You grab this. Copy it. Close that. Back to the dojo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Yeah, some of the, some of the colors we can be using. We can use that raw. We can use this. Uh, grab that blue. It doesn't need to line up perfectly. I don't think. It just needs to like look good. Translate. Get up. And they're there. Um, hell, we can just make more of these elements. Holy moly, that looks nice. Cool. Midget ow. Midget ow. Okay. Huh. <coughs> Do the same thing, except I use more layers for the lantern, and don't know why. I started making new layers for no. Yes. That is definitely a thing artists do, is they make tons and tons of layers. Uh, if you guys want to check out our dev blog a couple weeks ago, we actually went over exactly how I do the lines and everything. And you can keep your your, uh, your PST pretty clean. <coughs> Excuse me, I think anyways. Get that in the link. Let's see, soon. So this is just me beefing up the lines a little bit. Yeah, made them a little bit thicker so they're easier to see. <coughs> Excuse me, and also really helps separate elements from each other. Thanks, uh, thanks for saying the game looks nice. I appreciate that. The game's all gonna look like that. It's gonna be great. You guys are gonna be so proud of us when it's out. Boom, boom, boom. All right. You guys ready? You guys ready for the uh, color pass? Ready for the shading? You guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. You've been here before. And hello to our new our new friends. We're definitely going to be back every Wednesday, right? Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Go. 
There we go. Alright. Let's get the rocky stuff out of the way. So let's lay out more just for colors, because colors the same. This is why you want to keep your lines strong so then you can just throw on colors like that. Boom. <coughs> nah, excuse me again. <coughs> that was like in tandem one, Nick coughed as well. Grab this brown. This brown. Let's see if that works. On our cool little bear bear paw rug. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Bear was a jerk, guys. I can't help but uh I like I, I have a sister that hunts like crazy, so I, I kinda have to deal with hunting. Go. Cool. We're an hour in. Not bad, not bad guys. We got pretty far. I think so. Bait hype. Oh yeah, you can feel it coming, Matt Napers. Matt Napers from Jersey in the UK. Namer of Ragnarok. Player of games. <clears throat> you know, I, I do need a fisherman's friend. Man. Right. I don't know if we have any. I guess I could drink some water. And some cold coffee. That's right, I'm Runiel. I'm a, I'm a specious. A specious. Well, I kept drawing human skin rugs, and everybody was really grossed out. That'll work, though. Da -da -da. I have a bit of claw color. Put that claw color down. Yeah. You mentioned earlier that you lowered your PSD's resolution. What is the in-game resolution you're designing for? I'm working on art in the game in Unity, and it seems like if I design it big, it gets all nasty when scaled down. Well, RX Grim, we're actually making a 1080p game. Um, typically, for me to draw get a lot, enough of the details, sometimes I've had to go, on, to go and draw things like three or four times size just to keep the, the fidelity nice and sharp. Um, usually crunching the assets down, since I do it on my end, Photoshop kind of handles it for me. Kind of does a pretty good job, so we haven't really run into a problem that you're, uh, that you're uh, referring to. Um, <coughs> excuse me. How come... Americans are so fascinated by Vikings as Noni83. There's a good year, 83. I'm 83, Noni. Uh, maybe the recent recent shows, uh, the show made a pretty, pretty big deal. We actually just wanted to make a Viking game. Then the show got really popular, but well, that's cool. We're, we're, we're stoked on that. And, I, and, and, and we got a Holland guy and two Canadians here, so I don't know about Americans, but we like them just because uh, they're, they're cool things to draw for. And I can, like... And our Vikings are not, they're not Viking Vikings. Are you kidding me? Like, what? when's the last time Viking, you saw Vikings that look kind of like this? They're like our goofy take on Vikings. Let's get our color back here. Uh, this brown's okay. Norway, just from wondering. Cool, all the way from Norway. Noni83. Yeah, um... <clears throat> we like the idea of a, uh, I don't know, we're all, we're, we're kind of tied to, 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 to our desks. We're going to an office. Maybe the idea of hitting the open sea and exploring and pillaging is a an exciting one for some people. Vikings greater than pirates says. There, Nick said it. Vikings are fucking badass. That's why. <laughs> that's why. And we got oh what the hell that's not the color I want. This color. You weak knucker. You weak. You weak knucker. You weak knucker. Welcome to the squad, Yui Nucker. Thanks so much for joining us as we color and ink and shade our way to Viking Squad's completion. You guys were here from the beginning. You know, you can say that. The game comes out and everybody becomes a big fan of it. You guys can say you were here when you saw, you saw, you saw Jesse when he was sick and him and Nick were there going the dev stuff. <coughs> Getting delirious fever dreams here. Poland, not a Viking either. The only thing I raid and pillage is the shop and the liquor store. <laughs> uh, well, we're getting pretty good at that over here too, so I totally feel for you, I am Runiel. <coughs> oh, there we go. Next pixel. Don't use Unity Compression. The Brauka. Man, what, what is going on? What are you guys chatting about? Cool, we got some guys all the way from Deep Europe. That's great. Oh, this, since this is a puppet, we can actually put effects on that fire, too. 
That's cool. Nate was just mentioning that since this is a puppet that you guys saw in our puppet editor. Yeah. Actually, we can grab one. Let's see. Let's grab a puppet that we made that has a one. Enemies. I think Cave, Cave Mole has one. I think. <coughs> cave Mole. Universal. Right. Yeah, there's a Cave Mole. Let's make him breathe or something. Oops. <laughs> Tie the bones. So see this cool fire thing we got here? Happening here? We can actually attach that stuff like that to uh, the scene if we want. Which is going to be fun. It's going to be good. Tie those bones. Let's make him do a dive. Yay! Boom. Look at that. Oh, good. Animation's unstoppable. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> I did I did design the cave mole on the stream. Damn, Mac was here. A lot of people here. That was fun, because we actually didn't know what what, 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 what he was going to look like at all. And he came looking kind of cool. Kind of setting a bit of some... Uh, some looks that... Uh, the way that some of our tech looks game, I think. It was an important stream, is what I'm trying to awkwardly say. Alright. I am... I am Runiel. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for uh, asking questions and hanging out, and for the follow. You can uh, check us out here every Wednesday. 4pm to 6pm. That's two hours of streaming every Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Or Viking Squad. The best 2D lane-based brawler. Coming out in 2015. Ever. Maybe a little bit too tanned. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of a weird color. Let's try to keep it brown. There we go. So if we're looking at zooming in out the characters, she's swapping out our right, is... There we go. Nick Wanders is on that question, Rx Graham. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, I apologize if I missed someone's questions. Um, we, we we can't always hit them because we have such a great we have such a great and popular stream, and we love trying to get a hold of everybody. But if we miss you, it's not because we don't like you; it's because we actually threw out either drawing or painting or coloring or coding. We just kind of just kind of missed you. You guys will understand though, because you're all cool guys, gals. Kind of like this lighter color for the rocks, maybe. Yeah, works better. <coughs> Excuse me. Color that. Let's go. Is that this tan color? Oops. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. More stuff after 2D because I totally have to fight you for title. Thank God you said more stuff after 2D because I'm totally. I totally have to fight you for a title. Best 2D game. <laughs> Best 2D game. That's uh, that's darkest one. Let's be honest here. Okay. Okay, I'm 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 glad I'll, maybe, maybe I'll get an honorable notice. Sorry, um, maybe we'll get an honorable mention <coughs> because our game's all in 2D too, and we did work really hard. We are working really hard. Yeah, that's right. Our game is a mix. Damn it! So we're we're not even in contender for that. Actually, so is theirs. So is theirs. <laughs> yes, we utilize 3D because basically we have a bunch of. Uh, if you look at our dojo, it is on a 3D plane. Actually, yeah, here we go. Check it out, guys. So I'm going to spawn our barrels again. And we're going to go to, uh... We're going to set the camera weird. Re refly? No. Camera map editor. <laughs> no. I think Freefly will work. Wait, where am I? No. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm funny. I'll show you. It's serious. I'll check that out. No. <laughs> um. Not better to 3D in 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 the dojo. I can use that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. See, so there we go. This is actually our game. It's technically in 3D. Boom, boom, boom. Crazy Blue J. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us. Just showing everybody what we got going on in Viking Squad here. The 2D, 3D game. DSA Silent Sound. Welcome to the squad. How's it going? Yes. Wow, that looks so weird in this mode. <laughs> he just looks so angry. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Our game isn't 3D, but it is 2D. So that's what we got going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Game camera, boom. 
back into the way it is. You guys will see how it goes. That's how we do. Yes, that's how we do it. <coughs> this is gonna look cool in 3D. Your 2D assets in a completely different perspective. 3D space totally breaks the thing. Oh, dude, breaks everything. Yep. I I think I owe these guys here for the rest of their lives for putting up with the fucked up skew that I've thrown on everything in the game. <laughs> yes, that is it is it is very it is very neat. So yeah, we have a our game is like kind of brute forced into this weird 2D fighter, 2D brawler perspective that you see that's usually just hand painted. Ours is kind of like wedged in there. All right, guys, <clears throat> here we go. Time, time to shade. Time to shade. I think this will, I think this will work between this floating around. That's uh, let's let's, let's do that. Gonna shrink in a tighter shot. This will just kind of clean up things. <laughs> it's still the same 16 by 9, but we'll use that as kind of like a kind of a guide. Turn it on and off. Start playing with elements. See how far we can go. See how far we can push it. I might actually need to bring that into the puppet editor so I know what to do. All right, let's uh, save this out. <coughs> Too cute to brute force stuff. Well, we're brute forcing. The Vikings don't have to. Yeah, see some of the some of the stuff that you'll you'll be fighting, Viking squad. We can. Uh, oops, sorry about that. We can bring it in. Let's see. Let's let, let's uh yeah. You'll fight barrels. Um, yeah, there we go. You'll fight um. Oh wait, that's containers. No, I just want a snow claw. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn it. That's just his entrance. My God. <laughs> Why can't I find anything? Just, a, just like a snow claw enemy. I don't know what they call him. Oh, because Kaylee keeps. He calls him Buds. That's why. Yeah. There we go. Woof! Oh, that guy's really mad. You'll fight. Man, this is really mad. I think I can freeze him. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love that. Love that roll. Yeah, guys, this is just some of the. Oh, jeez, more advanced guys. You can block attacks and stun them. Oh, you don't want zombies? You have uh, Draugr's. They're like Viking zombies, right? What's up? Oh. Right. Whoa, whoa. Man, I don't know if I can take him. I think I got him this time. Oh, jeez. These guys are way more craftier, Kaylee. It's so cool with the with the rolls. That roll, it's rolls the best. Oh Jesus! Ah, that's so good. I can't just cheese them out anymore. Oh, they're good. Yeah, it's that. I think, I think, I think we got him. Freezing down. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Jesse. I like the old ice. <coughs> old ice. I'm not sure which ice you're referring to. The ice I'm drawing here, or the ice that's in the dojo? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Throw in our shadow layer, and now we just scoop out... ...that one. <laughs> yes. Oh, the old ice? Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna like the new ice better. I, 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 we, we have talked about it a little bit, but um, the the the, the old ice was just way too, way too uh, busy, like noisy. So we're trying out this new ice, and we're we're all getting pretty, we're all we're all pretty happy with it. But thanks for your opinion. And yes, Tara, <coughs> excuse me. I think games have have hit a kind of zombie critical mass, even though that is still all the games that people are buying, Dying Light. H1N1. Oh, the jagginess. That's what you meant to say. Oh, here's our... Here's our, uh... Town sound. Our town song. Okay. okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, the jaggy. I'm gonna take note of that. Jerry. 
maybe we can incorporate that into uh, either the other ones, or we can bring it back in that one. I see, I see. Ah, I see what we did there. I see, I see. This, this song actually reminds me of the Ravenous soundtrack, which is one of the best soundtracks ever made. Perfect town music. More cowbell. More cowbell ass garden. <clears throat> I guess we could do more cowbell. Gord's not here, so you guys can make as much fun of him in his music as you want. Alright, there we go. Get close. <laughs> that Amanda, that's right. I agree. It's always stuck in my head too. Yep. Or definitely got a good thing going on with uh, the music we have in our game. We're really excited to share more of it with you as we uh, build our GDC build, right? <clears throat> And since there's some areas we want a dark, oops, since there's some areas we want darker, I'll paint them black. Uh, what we end up doing is, since we have a nice shadow layer, we can actually draw from that shadow layer. As long as our lines stay tight, which they do. Um, anyways. There we go. That'll work. This is DSA sound sound. Yes, this is real time. We we don't mess around here at Slick. <laughs> Thanks, man. Glad you dig it. Glad you dig it. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can grab from the palette. Um, hmm. <coughs> I know sometimes I end up watching streams and sometimes they're a little bit slow and it's hard to get into. But here, we 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 kind of want to kind of want to get rid of that. I don't want you guys to enjoy art real time and engagement real time, right? That's what's important. You guys make it so easy because you're also nice, also friendly in the stream. We love talking to you. Wednesdays are a big happy day. Kind of like work on some stuff and really, really enjoy game dev amongst friends, fellow devs. I've been trying hard to enjoy Darkest Dungeon, but the level 3 dungeons have a huge difficulty jump for me. Not sure what I'm doing wrong as I have level 3 skills and level 2 armor weapons. Hmm. Proposition is a little for a DLC. My little Viking cannot be this cute. Maybe we'll add the terrible, ter terrifying Viking. So, anybody, uh. <coughs> Skarden. Anybody can not build Skarden with some darkest dungeon tips? I know that, uh. I played a lot of the Alpha Alpha. So, recently. 2 and 2. The third dungeon. I do know that. Multi stuns are like busted. Always take a stunner. <coughs> but yeah, it is. It definitely, it definitely is a difficult game. But some people are. A lot of streamers actually are streaming it, and they're having a pretty okay time with it. All right. We'll call this part done. Actually, what we're gonna do is I want to kind of rough up this ground, so we're gonna add these little things all around it. That'll work. A little bit of supplies. Hope for the best far this side made it to 19. Noni 83. There we go. Our Norwegian? I want to say? Our friend from the from Europe. Thanks so much for joining us. Norway? Is it Norway? Help me out. Thanks so much for joining the squad. Thanks so much for the friendling. Friend, friending. Friendling? Man. The fever dreams are, are kicking in, guys. The sickness. The sickness is real. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so here we go. Cool. <laughs> <coughs> Rough. Perfect. The little Viking. Made this up too. Two of them. Big.
Down with that sickness. Oh, weird. Mic check. Okay, that's probably back. Weird. Thanks for thank you, Nick. <laughs> through through my consistent coughing, I've tried to keep the mic away, and I've actually ignored you guys. One second. Typical coffee. That's a pretty good me uh, matchup there. Do you use a uh, heroic end on your jester, or slice off? I find those are really awesome moves. S Kim CM bats, welcome, welcome to the squad. Today we are, as always, working on Viking Squad. Uh, as I'm slowly hacking through, working on Viking Squad. We are working on cool, fun Trinity. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us. Here on Wednesday, every Wednesday, for two hours, two great dev-filled hours on Twitch. We'd love hearing from you guys. It's great. It's super. There we go. I guess one more. We need one more. We need. We have our shield dude there, no problem. Hammer gal, hatchet dude, and need our bowman. Where can we cram this bowman? I think we can cram him. I kind of like the idea. <laughs> I love, I don't know. I know it looks like a cop-out, guys, but I kind of really do like the Viking poncho. You might think it looks like a cop-out. I wouldn't blame you, but I kind of like the way it looks. Excuse me. They're just warming up. Warming up after a long day's raiding, I guess. Alright. Keep all these guys separate. Mm, maybe. If we keep them separate, we can actually parallax them a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. That might, that might work out. Yeah, okay. Cool. So we'll do these guys first. Oh, this is so easy to do. We're going to do this guy first. It does. It does make it does make sense. Thank you, thank, thank you, Sherry. It does make sense for them to wear that around town. It's like casual wear for Viking. So, just gotta remember that. Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Everybody has different beard design. Beard, beard design. What the hell? Okay. Running on fumes here. All right. Let's do this guy a little. One more pass. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, cleaner. There we go. Actually, let's let's uh, jump in and grab him in the dojo. Let's get another shot at what he looks like. Okay, we are the shield guy now. Let's switch to our bow guy. Oh, hammer gal, there she is. <coughs> bow, there we go. Yeah. Big slide. Good charge that shot. Cool. All right. Oh man, I better get some sleep. Sorry, I can stay longer today. LCSP is finished as well. Thanks for the stream. Great game. It's looking great. Thank you so much, Mad Neighbors. We should have the Photoshop skills. Okay. So that's his, okay, that's his beard. Alright. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot, Matt. Always a pleasure. Right work. And straight down, straight down. There we go, there we go. How often do I stream? DSA Sound Sound asks. Well, we stream every Wednesdays at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. PST. <coughs> Excuse me. Always covering game dev for Viking Squad, of course. And yeah, we have a, we have a really great time talking to everybody. Usually I'm not even this sick, so I sound even better. Usually. I don't say as many crazy things. I like this. Okay, we add nice thick bolting. We can even puff up this. I don't know if that helps. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what we're doing, guys. <coughs> hey, DSA Sound Sound. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And DSA Sound Sound. Slick Entertainment is actually uh, one third of the team here. The CEO and owner of Slick Entertainment. That's our coder, Nick Wanders. So, be sure to be nice to that guy. 
You can follow him on Twitter. We got the the, the Twitter links right with the chat of you wonderful people. So happy that we finally figured out a bit of this Twitch thing. Now we have Ragnus, Ragnarok squawking whenever someone follows us. Boom! Speak of the devil. MJTAU. Thank you so much for joining the squad. Welcome. Take a seat. Pull up a stump and watch some super fun, super great cinematic game dev for our game. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Viking Squad. We're on Viking Squad is what we're doing here. How long are we working on Viking Squad? Ask Grimmy Bear. I guess it's coming up to... Um, we started last year at February, I think. Is that right, Nick? January? I think <laughs> Nick will have a better better window, but yeah, about a year. Yeah, year. I want to say a year. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, before that, our game Shellraiser came out on iOS and and January. So a year and a month. Yeah, year and a month. There you go. Year and a month, Nick. Year and a month and a half, and something like that. Yes, that's a, that, that's all I'm working on. Viking Squad Four. Rational G, welcome to the squad. Great name, and thank you for the follow. We love those follows here at Slick. Love hearing Ragnar Squawk howl and squawk with joy. <laughs> Again, Cinderman with two ends. Welcome to the squad. Thank you so much for coming by. While we draw our ponchoed Vikings waiting around a fire. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Liking this, actually. At the fluffs. See the rough fluffs? I actually made the fluffs look a little bit better. That's right. That kind of guy. The Lost Vikings was legit. That's right. It was so legit. I don't know if you guys seen uh, the, the Heroes of the Storm game, but Mr. Jack, I think, redrew the Lost Vikings, and man, do they look badass. Holy crap. <coughs> Here we go. We did it, guys. Yeah, okay. Oh, I should give them all their own colored ponchos. Uh, Trillions one, welcome to the squad. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, my squadlings. Yes, fun game. They just released the characters in Here's the Storm. Cool. I uh, hear he's like one of the trickier guys to use. Is that correct? Rx Grim. Forty new follows today. Unreal. That's crazy. I gotta say, a lot of it must be from uh, Julia. I want to say, Julia, thank you again for bringing your streamer pals to the slick. Entertainment Inc. channel. Oh, here we go. This is turn this up a bit. This is actually a uh, our trailer track Gordon made for us. Yes, look at that. It looks so great. <coughs> this is another track for Viking Squad. What? Pink? What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Soundtrack's gonna be boss. I did find the stream through Julia's tweet. Glad I did. Hey, awesome, Grimmy Bear. Cool. Great, it's been great talking to you. Oops. There we go. Again, hop in there and beef up these lines. Yes, yes. That trailer music. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, guys, and I'll be better next week. Swear. Swear. That is Photoshop. Program I work on Photoshop. That's right. Mm -hmm. There we go. That is some very, very good and solid and frank advice from uh, Nick Wanders. Getting featured is basically uh, sink or swim. Getting featured is the only way is is pretty much the only way you're gonna get a uh, swimming on the mobile market. We did we we had some pretty <coughs> great times with Shellraiser, but the uh, mobile scene was a little bit different back then. Hilariously, it was like over a, a couple of years ago, I guess. All right, beef up the lines, no problem. I think it'll be too weird. I'm gonna, if I make them, I'll have custom ponchos. So. I grab out of here. Yes, and that's that's true, Damac. <coughs> Let's 
I think this will work. There we go. Let's get that beard color. And it's probably more gray than that. There we go, yeah. Okay. Um, he's the palest one, I think. But that's okay. We can color him properly later. We don't like these colors. Everything looks really beautiful. Thumbs up. Emoji. Hey, great. Will do. Jaws 550. Thanks so much for uh, stopping by and checking out what we got going on. <clears throat> and what we got going on is Viking Squad. That's what we're working on. Working on our GDC build. Working super hard. I need to take out a lot of that. There's a lot of other colors going on there, so. That'll work. And now we can probably crank up this guy. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. And we'll give him white eyes just for now. I don't know if, we'll, if we can fit pupils in. We're going to be pretty far back. We'll see. <coughs> and we're going to be in the GC build, uh, hopefully. With a little bit of luck, Damak. I got, I, yeah, as Nick says, Jesse's got to get his act together. I think we can do it. And let's give him some maybe, uh, there we go, this will probably work. I think I need to make these, like, more, more gray. That's better. There we go. I can't ask what pen buttons are bound to Photoshop. Um, the only thing I have on my pen, I'm using a lot of my left hand on the keyboard. My pen, the only thing that my pen has is actually the right click. <coughs> Excuse me, that's all I have going on. Um, the rest is me rapidly hitting Alt and Spacebar and Z to zoom in and get move around my piece a lot faster. Not a lot of stuff's living on my pen at the moment. I do know a lot of great, great artists that have their pen macro like crazy, so it's definitely not a bad thing to do. There you go, that looks warm. How cozy is that? Right, guys? It's the coziest. Love your style, dude. Thank you, Ration Alg. Ration Alg, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. The whole game's gonna look like that because we got three three people working in house on it, so it's it's gonna have to look like that. <coughs> but as we all know, it would just be the ramblings of a madman if we didn't have a whole team on it. So, team of three is the reason why we can get this style and make it make it work. But thank you so much for stopping by, and really really, really appreciate that. It's kind of tough when you're just working on things all day, and that's why Wednesdays are really great for us because we get a chance to talk to the community guys and other game devs and, and just general players and streamers and stuff, and it's awesome. There he looks nice and cozy. Throw some shadows on him. He fits in. Boom. 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 Let's carve those away. Actually, since they're all being lit by the fire, let's kind of shade them from another direction here. <coughs> I've got to wake up and just can't get used to it. I feel a bit dis disconnected between the screen and the table. Tablet. Any tips or just keep using it? That's probably a pretty good tip there, MJT. Um, you have a ta uh, tablet. Uh, yes. The um, I I definitely have that disconnect too, and it's good. You just gotta get used to it. But what's what, what you gotta think is the silver lining of that is your hand is never in the way of what you're drawing. That's pretty cool. So try to look at the the the, the good things. You don't always need a Cintiq to make amazing art. That's for sure. Start with whatever you got. I would I would recommend keep using it. Um, don't always and also don't this uh, who uh, Sikra he's on YouTube he said this, and I think it's very very wise very awesome thing to say. But he said every uh, like every day I guess if you want to get seriously into art as this goofy song comes on, um, set aside like an hour of just just experimenting like just drawing just for the sake of drawing. Don't 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 be like oh. This no one will like this or something because you're not drawing for that you're drawing for yourself. And uh, if you do that, you get that in like about an hour a day, twenty minutes a day, half an hour a day, you'll you'll get used to the tablet. There we go. Sit him there. <coughs> 
I think I think we'll need to give him pupils. That's fine though. Oops. If anyone knows this is from Rogue Legacy, the clown level. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we can do the little little uh little shield guy. Actually, might need to put him here. <clears throat> Should I could get beefed up a bit, actually. <clears throat> yes, Romage, you hate that clown. I do too. I never got too good at his challenges. Oh, let's see here. Here's another good thing about working digitally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Man, we just cheated like crazy and it worked. You to do you remember guys, work smarter, not harder. There we go. And now we can take off his head. There we go, that'll work. There you go. Pro <laughs> pro tip. Yes. Pros to pro tips. These are thinner one because it's got a bit of detailed. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. I like the shield guy too. Actually, I, did, I think I did. I think we did okay with our, our Vikings. I think they all look pretty cool. Trade secrets, yeah. You guys know that I'm just a, I'm just a hack. That's okay though. You guys, are nice. Fasno, welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for making that hack scream. Big fans, big fans of Ragnarok and everyone who follows us every Wednesday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go, yes. And we'll give him another furry poncho. We'll probably start him down there. This is just, doesn't matter how long these things are, just uh, so they have a little bit of give. That's why the bottoms are going to look a little bit funny. I do want to get a shield in there, though, I think. Kind of like a shield sitting on the outside. So let's do it. Again. Real Vikings don't have horns and helmets. So not that it matters. Yes, we are aware of that. Noni eighty three. That's the least of uh, the uh, historical fallacies that we have. They fight monsters and stuff too. So <laughs> we appreciate the history lesson because yes, we know that there is no recorded <coughs> horned Viking helmets. Ours got tons of horns on them. It's too thick, I think. And uh, now I'm just building a shield at this angle. So just bear with me for a second. Staff, Sar S Staff Sergeant, welcome to the squad. How's it going? Thank you for stopping by and checking out our stream, which we do every Wednesdays with the great people. We have a lot of great returns. We have a lot of great people coming by. Super, super awesome stuff. All right, so as you see what I'm doing here, I'm just doing a series of the ellipsy tool, which is a great tool to use. And now we'll draw this, 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 and this, and this. And that looks like basically, that looks like a, oops, that looks like a shield. And I'll just go like this. Whap. Whap. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Yes. No problem. Add some more of the fluff and the poncho. Look at this. We did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> How cozy he looks. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yikes. Nope. 
There we go. <laughs> yes. So good. Okay. Again, let's keep these ponchos universal. <laughs> There's a box quote. Let's keep these ponchos universal. Okay. It's like they're mostly this color though, so I'll fix that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, his coat looks a little warm. That's right. That's right. We can always, uh, <coughs> if the game doesn't do too hot, we can always get into uh, fashion accessories. Ah, uh, look at that. Accidentally. That's okay. We can fix that. Yay. No problem. Grab some steel. Steel color. Again, I'm not too worried about consistency between stuff, because usually you can kind of figure out what I'm drawing from what it looks like. Pon yeah, right in the poncho biz. Viking Squad ponchos. You didn't play the game, now wear the poncho. I like how bright we got these horns, actually. A little bit killer, but okay. Wow. Super bright. Right. Fix that. Super dull. Uh, just right. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have the blue we've been using. Oh, damn. You like these songs? Let's see what we got. What is this off of? This is a show in the pit. This is his first album, which, uh, thank you. Uh, a little discomfort, a lot of freedom. Uh, this song here. Oh, Gord, your stuff's so good. It's just a good Gord. Gord's been very nice in letting us play all of his stuff. He's kind of like the uh, the soundtrack of the Slick Entertainment stream. And I do really love this song. <coughs> kind of, excuse me, a little tragic, a little sad sounding. A little bit weepy. It's a Poncho Ponzi Pyramid Scheme. <laughs> yes, that's right. Sir Lol Troll Leader? Sir Lol Troll Leader. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for stopping by the Slick Entertainment dev blog, dev stream even. We really appreciate you guys following us and uh, dropping by every Wednesday, saying hey, and uh, letting us know what you think about the game, games in general. We'll, an we'll, an we'll answer questions, dev questions, art questions. We have a bunch of great artists in the stream, a bunch of great streamers in the stream, in the chat, I mean. We have an okay artist in the stream. He's, he's all right. He uh, gets by. Go. And actually, once you use these guides to do this, and if you freehand over it, it gives it a little bit of character, because you're like shaky and like and like jittery like me. But it it's okay. It works. Oh, there we go. There we go. Peppy. Oh, well, there we go. See, that's how good of a musician he is. Both people have different uh, interpretations of his music. I'm real mage. Look at that. And, oops. And if we're working with, uh, this is another side. Oh, shoot. It's another side. Boom. Uh, if we can't fit one of these guys, you know what? That looks just as good. All right. Now his beard, kind of like a bluish beard. Okay. How are I? F how are we financed? We are independently financed through Slick Entertainment. That's what's going on. And that's why we got to get this game out. This game's gonna be coming out this year. <coughs> yeah, he looks great. Happy with this. Independently financed, Calatale. Super frustrated gamer, welcome to the squad. Sorry you're frustrated, but welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for following. Thanks for making Ragnarok scream. We all love it. We love it here at Slick. When we hear that wonderful bird. Gotta go love you guys. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you very much, Tara. Thank you so much for the well wishes. And for stopping by. Our friend Tara. Friend we met in Vegas. Played Viking Squad. Thank you so much, Tara. It's great hearing from you again. Hope to see you again next week. And we will, we will be feeling better, definitely. 
Hope. Hope so. Jeez. Look at that. There we go. Yes. Ah, he looks. He looks good. He looks good. All right. I'll shade him. Shade him real quick. <coughs> It's all thanks to the Vikings, I guess, because when they were out pillaging and raiding, they never took the ugly hands. <laughs> really, Noni83? I had no idea that was the case. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that. The Vikings had kind of specific tastes. I did not know that. Interesting. There definitely isn't any of that stuff in our game. Our game has a T rating, I think. We're, going, we're shooting for T anyway. Wanting T. Because we have a, because you know, there's violence and stuff, and you uh, get up in people's faces. There's a bit of blood. Like noble gentlemen. Yep, <laughs> that's right. Uh. Of course, what are you? Oh, it's got a weird trippy, trippy song. One of his weirder, weirder titles. Okay, I'll, I'll try talking through more of this one. Alright. Alright. Probably work out. Uh, maybe we'll get rid of a little bit more over <coughs> And there. 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 We got it. It'll work. He looks so solemn. He does. He does look really solemn. There you go. There he goes. Yes. Oh, it's so cold here. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Put him here. Put him behind. Actually, I think I might totally jack darkest guys and kind of give him one of these. We can always fix that later, but... There we go. So warm. Let's see, what are we? What are we for time? Eh, I got eight minutes. You can probably grab a. I'm gonna finish up the hammer, gal. No problem. She's got her hammer. She wants to be sitting right about here. You don't need this old shield guy. No problem. I like her to be maybe. Yeah. There we go. All right. <laughs> Animation done, that's right. Frame Real Mage. <laughs> if we're lucky, we get that amount of animation out of me. I am not the greatest animator. Um, I think I need to do a loose one first. Because I'm going off this really rough sketch. And as you saw, I kind of struggled. So it's probably easier to just do one more pass. I kind of like her horns a lot. Her horns are big and like crazy. <clears throat> I remember talking to Gord about his music. Actually, I said what I like about it is it sounds like it's, it sounds like you're you're really kind of struggling to put it together. Not in a bad way. In a way that it's like increases its worth. You know? And he's like, yeah, man, that's like. That's how it is. Really hard to, to get the guitar to sound like that. I thought that was cool that I could hear that in the music. Fluff. Fluff. And her hammer. <coughs> I know everybody says it's kind of like a Mjolnir hammer, but I think it's a... I think it's enough of ours. I think it's a big rectangle, but hey, you can unlock more hammers. What's this game coming out on? Asks Crazy Blue Jay. We're gonna looking at we're looking at a Steam release, and we're looking at a PS4 release. So, if you, for now, for now, we we we'd love if if people played it on their microwaves, but we just don't know. I get it set up there, so we'll see. For now, we're looking at PS4 and Steam. So if you have a a Steam or a PS4, you get Viking Squad and Pillage with your pals. 
Then you can jump on the stream again and be like, hey, Jess, you guys did a great job. And I'll be like, oh, thanks, man. And I'll draw you guys pictures, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> this is great. I kind of like this a lot now. <laughs> That's good. Good job, Jess. We're going to finish this, and we're gonna take it. that'll take us to two. I think we didn't. We got a lot done. We got a lot done, I think. Save. Save. Vita, maybe. We're trying Aerodynamic Vitas. We actually have Vitas here. This Christmas, we got Vitas from the wonderful company, Slick Entertainment. And I've been digging mine. The price is not determined yet. Right. Is that? Did someone ask that? Oh, Crazy Blue did ask for the price. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We gotta... First, we need to finish it, and then we can say how much it's gonna be, right? That's, uh, that's, that, that's how it's gonna work. Alright. To team size slash to studio size. We have three people here. Three people working on the game. Yes. And our sound guys are power up audio. And they're off. They're not in the office. But they do drop by every now and then. And I get zero work done when they drop by because those guys are so much fun. <laughs> I'm liking this one a lot, actually. Yeah, that's good. That was good. Cool. Love her pigtails. My favorite part about her are these giant, ridiculous pigtails. Two years of production. In, in, in t totally yes, Emerald Mage. But uh, not yet. We are in a year and a month. Year, year and a month and a half currently. All animators. <coughs> yes, we are all animators. Just give Shu a tweet. He will hook you up. Shu. Not Shu. Shu Chai, is it? My friend Shu from Vancouver. That'd be cool. I worked with him at Nerdcore. He's not so much an animator, though. Yeah, we'd like uh, that. It'd be, it'd, it'd be a lot of help if we had an animator or, an, uh, or that kind of thing. A technical artist would be amazing, but hey, we got to go with what we got. And what we got are three people tackling the animation. Chu Yoshida. Rue Claws, welcome to the squad. Thank you so much for signing up. What's up? It's six already? Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm oh, yeah, if, if you got to go bail, I'll uh, wrap this up and then I'll. Yeah, if you got to go, get going, Nick. I told you guys I'd finish this hammer, so I'll at least finish this hammer, gal. Sign off today. Some more sweet Gord McLattery tracks in there. Boom, boom, boom. Ragtag group of scrappy game folk. This is right. You guys want brutal, sad honesty. It's going to be here on this dev stream. We'll answer as much questions as we possibly can about everybody's journey to becoming a game dev. <coughs> Excuse me. I usually have a lot of stuff on here, but we'll just put this on here for now because so busy. There is a very there is a very high percentage. Kaylee, our designer, can do this awesome five o'clock shadow, which I'm jealous of. I have this beard because I am very self conscious about my chin. Nick grows an amazing beard because he's like uh, he's Dutch. The beard is a requirement. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Actually, yeah, and if you guys see Gordon McLattery, you guys go to Power Up Audio, go to their site, look at their photos, find the guy with the most awesome beard, and that's Gordon McLattery. Actually, there's even a lot of beards on Power Up now that I think about it. <laughs> Except Jeff Tanksock, because he's Filipino, and there's no way that guy's growing a beard. Yeah? Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so just type Gordon McLattery on Google Images, and you'll see the best picture ever of Gordon McLattery. Okay, wait. Maybe Nick will just find the picture for you guys. It's it, it's amazing. <coughs> Let's see. Just in case nobody's looking at this action. Yeah. Wait. There we go. Let's get a nice one of these. Yes. <laughs> They're just gonna zoom in. Yeah, but he's 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 got wearing a tapes and tape shirt and destroying a watermelon. He's awesome. <laughs> 